Got him that time. <laughs> right up on the bank. Okay guys, welcome back to a new one. Uh, gonna be targeting some bass today. And uh, if you saw the caption or the title, thumbnail, I'm gonna be trying out some custom baits today. Uh, kind of a first for me. Um, these are all colors I requested on these specific baits. Um, this is from the Fisherman, or otherwise known as Little Frishies on Instagram. Um, I'll tag his stuff somewhere in the description or up here in the video somewhere. Uh, go, go, go check him out on Instagram. Uh, I believe that's his only platform right now. But uh, great small business just starting uh, out of central Illinois. So if you're in Illinois or even the Midwest, give this guy a follow and check out his stuff. He's got some really good looking baits and he's planning on doing quite a bit more. But uh, starting off with this jerk bait, this is just a, uh, a floating jerk bait. Uh, this is a color I specifically requested. Um, I like it because the bottom's translucent and then you got the chartreuse and purple up top. Super clear water, kind of a sunny day. I think it's going to be a perfect combo. Um, there's a few other colors I um, wanted to try out, but then as a backup today, I have him make me a lipless. This is like a craw color, but he's got the shad pattern going with it, so I do like that. Um, red's a great color in the springtime, but hard, tough to beat that jerk bait. So we're gonna go give this a shot, so let's do it. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm leaving you alone. Okay, I'm gonna get things started with this jerk bait here. Kind of in a cove, protected by the wind, winds at my back, pushing out. Um, I prefer to fish jerk baits on the side that's not windy, so this side's kind of protected. I think jerk bait works better. It's more of a finesse. You can watch that line. You're not it's getting lines not getting bullied by that wind. But uh, yeah, let's uh, give this thing a few rips here and see if we can make anything happen. So, for one cast in, I'm just kind of watching the action, and uh, Kurt, if you're listening, um, I'm looking at the bait, and it's actually a slow sinking bait. I know you mentioned that it, you thought it was a slow rising. This is actually a slow sinking bait, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, super slow sinking, which is fine. That's actually what I prefer over a suspended or a, a slow rising, but uh, slow sinking, yeah. That's what I thought. Um, it wasn't coming up as quick as I thought it was, so that's awesome. I'm, I'm excited about that. That just lets me give it a longer pause, which when I run jerk baits, that's my main method. I like to let it sit there, let that fish kind of think about it, give it a couple jerks, and then that fish will toast it. But uh, yeah, I, I wasn't sure. I, it looked like a slow sinking bait. A lot of times when you have those ones with three hooks, they are. I don't know why the design's different, but it uh, seems like a slow rising or a uh, suspended bait will have a two hook setup and a uh, slow sinking one, I'll show you here in a second, has a, a three hook um, setup. So I don't know why. I, maybe that hook adds enough weight to make it sink. But uh, yeah, there it is again. If you didn't get a good look at it, awesome looking bait. A couple rattles in there. Um, it doesn't dive deep, doesn't need a big lip though. That's a nice thing about it because it's a slow sinking. You know, the more you pause on it, the deeper it's going to run. So. Awesome bait. I'm excited to see how it goes. Just a couple casts in now. Um, I think we're gonna catch a few on it today. I was hoping to use both baits, but I have a feeling I'm gonna be stuck with this jerk bait the whole day. I just love running these things this time of year. Fish, look at that. He hit it on the pause. Just as I was saying earlier, um, how I like this bait to have a nice long pause. He nailed it right on the pause. Just like, uh, not I would say just like I was expecting, but uh, happens a lot. But uh, that's the first fish right there uh, on the fisherman bait, man. How about that? Kurt, shout out. Way to go, man. Made a good bait, at least for one fish. We'll see if we can uh, make them. Well, see if we can make them a little bit bigger next time. Sweet. We will get this guy back in. See if he's got some bigger buddies out there. Peace. 
very cool. That's exciting. I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but that'd be the first fish ever on a little Frishies bait. So uh, that's pretty exciting. And I just, I'm glad it was on the jerk bait. I had a good feeling about that bait. Um, I was excited to be having a color scheme like that. One I've always liked in this clear water is running a kind of a transparent look to a shad. Those iridescent colors that they just pop, man. Those fish get pissed off at them and they see that bait twitching like it does. They can't help themselves but to crack at one. Fish didn't fight it all though. <laughs> I thought I was snagged at first, but either which way we're in business. Oh, yep, there's a fish. Yeah, it's a little bit better one. He's hardly hooked. Oh, yeah. There we go, man. Fish two. Oh, oh God, don't do that. I made a very unfortunate mistake today, and I forgot my pliers, which isn't ideal when you're dealing with jerk baits because they seem to hook everything, but I've gotten lucky. Knock on wood for these first two fish been pretty easy to pop out so hopefully that stays the same but yeah look at that guy a little bit better um oh boy spoke too soon nope we got him okay fish two a little fatto a little fatto a little fatty um better better than the first one so getting better that's what i like to see we'll keep her up we're gonna move around two fish out of that spot that was a good way to end that spot out so let's keep her moving spot could be good here on the other side of this cove that i kind of started on structure here and it kind of droops down off this ledge. I don't know if you can see it's dark. That's all kind of like a shelf with weeds on it and it dips down. So we'll see. Could be good. Could suck. Ooh, getting a lot of junk in my line from I don't know what from but it's getting kind of annoying. I'm on a windier side here. I'm sure the camera's eating that wind. This airplane won't shut up but uh, we're gonna try it at least for a few casts you never know typically I'd be throwing spinner baits against this bank but that's not what we're using today we're using some new baits from the freshman so we're gonna see if we can catch some in the wind eventually I'll make my way around this whole bowl maybe go up that bank we'll see we'll see how we do sometimes in these bays man this water warms up just a little bit more than the main lake and you'll catch a pile of them Oh, and that's going to be the case today. I think I cast it over a tree. Yeah, I don't want to deal with that, believe it or not. Just got this bait. Try something out there. Oh, my God. Another nice bass right underneath me. A step back. Oh, he was chasing it. He was right on it. He's still sitting there. He's like squaring me up. A bunch of gunk on here. But I roll it through one or two more times, he's going to take a crack at it. He's sitting there right on the bottom of this boat ramp. It's so weird. Usually they're not down here till it's like spawning time. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it right in his mouth. I saw it. <laughs> Got him that time. <laughs> right up on the bank. 
That is a little fatso. Holy moly, that was sweet. I got to watch that whole thing. How cool. Yeah, he was pinned. We're gonna get all the sand off him. We'll get a good shot of him here. That's a little fat toad of a fish. <laughs> yeah, let me uh, let me rinse him off. He's a little dirty. No, you're not going yet. Oh, third fish of oh boy, third fish of the day. Little chunky guy hit it right at my feet. That was awesome. We'll get him back and do it again. See ya, buddy. That was awesome. Always cool when you can see fish react to your bait in the right way. Like, I know a jerk bait is a bait that fish really react to. And I saw him like three casts ago. And I don't think he knew anything about what was going on, but he came over and checked out. I had made the same cast like twice in a row already. And he was just kind of cruising over that way to check it out. And uh, that second cast, he kind of followed it up real slow, lethargic, like he had nothing to do with it. But then uh, I cast it again and I took a couple steps back so I wasn't right in his face and I saw him flash on it and I set the hook early. I don't know, I get excited. And then I stopped it completely and I just gave it a couple little baby jerks and I see him just rolling up like he had tunnel vision, he wanted that bait. He probably hit it in about like 10 inches of water and just slammed it, ate it, turned around, started swimming away with it and I set the hook and nailed him. That was awesome. That was awesome. We'll see if we can get a few more like that. That was pretty sweet. I just want one more fish. I'd wrap today up. Pretty, pretty content with the day. Um, yeah, one more really sealed the deal for me. Kind of back where I started in this cove where that goose scared me when I first started the video. One more fish would really seal the deal. I don't even care how big. It could be a dink. Just one more, just kind of a cherry on top. Three is nice. I mean, considering it's a brand new bait, new color scheme. One more would be nice, though. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, there's a tree down there. Oh, boy. Come on. And it's gone. Well, shoot. Not the way I was hoping to end this one. Well, that's going to wrap this one up, unfortunately. I mean, we caught some fish. Um, <laughs> caught a log. Log one. I did lose that battle. But uh, anyways, great bait. I've only been fishing for like 45 minutes, maybe. And uh, those three fish. So yeah, uh, great bait. Give uh, the fisherman a, a check out on the old Instagram and his, his page for his business, Little Frishies. Like I said, I'll tag that somewhere, either on the video on the screen here or down the description below. Uh, you guys can get a quick link to go tap on that, check him out, give him a follow. And uh, yeah, great, uh, great setup he's got there. He made some good looking baits. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel. would really appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.